we're here in Kew Gardens in cold uh, English uh, winter here, looking and talking about crop wild relatives. And so we've just gone for a walk after lunch, and, and here we have uh, Penicetum orientale, which is a wild pearl millet here in the, the Kew Gardens. If we come over here, we can see we have uh, a wild wheat down here, we have a wild rye, and over there another wi wild pearl millet. So uh, we're here in this meeting precisely talking about crop wild relatives, their importance for adapting to agriculture, um, uh, to climate change from agriculture, and um, really in this meeting the, the, we've been planning the next two years of gap analysis. So the idea is what we'll be doing in SEAT is concentrating on identifying which of these species are most threatened in the wild, which ones could provide important traits that are useful for adapting agriculture to climate change, and then where we go to, to, to actually collect those species. Then we hand over to the experts, people from Kew Gardens, to uh, go out and, and through their partners, uh, go out and collect these, these species and conserve them in the gene pool. So we've come in from the cold, wintry London into this greenhouse now, and here we can see some wild bananas that we found here in this, this tropical greenhouse. If we uh, walk over here, we can see some uh, wild coffee plants that have been conserved here in these botanical gardens. Down here by the, by the pond, we have some wild aroids that are being, being uh, conserved here. And so everywhere we go, we're seeing crop wild relatives that are, that are planted out here and, 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 and functioning uh, in, this, in these different environments, all of which have interesting traits that can help us con uh, adapt to climate change. So um, everywhere we look, interesting and, and, and useful plants that we need to conserve. So this is now Andy Jarvis from cold London signing out uh, uh, for this first in history video blog from Seattle.